Do you like talking about money, specifically in technology? We're talking here about IT managers or people in IT management positions and how much do they earn? Before we do get into this, why don't you click on the subscription button? You're on the YouTube machine. Click on the button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. Also helps me to realize that I'm releasing good content if you are following along. There are so many types of IT manager and it really depends on the company what the company does, the company size, really depends on how much an IT manager will earn. Now, IT managers, the role itself, IT manager, is not commonly used in every single company. What you may find is in a smaller business, you may have somebody who has been given the title of IT manager, and they are responsible for managing everything. They're doing infrastructure, networking, server, security, they're doing operations, they're doing all of the service desk stuff, they're doing security, they're perhaps involved with some form of development or releasing some new stuff, and they're maybe even doing some day-to-day -day support if they're hands-on, they're doing budgets, they're doing strategy, they're really doing the whole lot. And then you've got more specific types of managers, depending on the business size, you're gonna have specific IT manager roles. So in a medium to a larger business, it's not uncommon, to find different types of IT managers. You may have a service desk or a help desk manager. You may have an IT operations manager, an IT infrastructure manager, a service delivery manager, an IT security manager, an IT development manager. It could be others. All of these roles are gonna have specific responsibilities, specifically to their role, to what they offer for that business. And then outside of that, you've then got the more senior IT management positions where you then sit into the IT heads of technology, you've got your IT directors, you've then got your CIOs, your chief information officers, your CTOs, your chief technology officers, and then your CISOs, which are your chief information security officers. So we're gonna be talking about all of those. So here are the top 10 IT manager salaries, different types of managers starting from number 10 all the way to the number one, which is generally the highest earning IT manager. And these are gonna be in US dollars, and this is also as of 2022, 2023. And of course, salaries change generally from year to year. Number 10 is the help desk manager. Help desk manager, of course, is somebody who is looking after the help desk and services. So we we'll use help desk slash services manager interchangeably, looking after the help desk, the service desk, looking after level one type of queries, signing tickets amongst team members. Now this role is commonly going to be averaging around 80 to $100,000 per year. So some roles will be slightly under that, maybe starting around the 70, and then you'll also get some that are gonna be into the 110, 120, but average 80 to 100. Service delivery manager. Service delivery managers are gonna be IT managers that are looking after the delivery of a service, potentially operations, infrastructure, maybe other bits and pieces, for one or many companies. Generally what you'll find is there's some sort of an MSP, a managed services provider, or a telco, telecommunications company, an ISP, some company that is specializing in a IT service of some sort, and they're offering that service to a business. Operations manager, somebody who's now responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the IT function. Now, this may have a bit of a crossover from the service desk help desk manager. They also may have a bit of a crossover from the IT infrastructure manager, but now they're responsible for keeping the lights on, making sure that operations continue in a workplace. And this title, this role, is gonna be averaging around the 120 to the 140 range. The IT infrastructure manager may not be too far. And this one I'm gonna say is roughly around the same as an IT operations manager. It's not gonna be so different because their responsibility is very similar, but it's now with a heavier focus on the infrastructure. So looking after data centers, looking after security, looking after servers, networking, and all the stuff that's on there. They're generally not gonna get involved in the day-to-day -day support and operations 
with staff and the end user or even perhaps even in a ticketing system. And here we have the IT Manager. So this is just the title of IT Manager. They're not specific to service desk or operations or these other sorts of managers that we've talked about. This is just the IT Manager. And as I said, commonly, they're gonna be found in maybe a smaller business, sometimes in a medium-sized business, but generally, commonly, in a small business looking after the whole lot. Now, this IT Manager is gonna sit around the 120, to around the 140 to 150 range. 150 is really on the high end. So let's just say right bang in the middle, around the 120K range for an IT manager. Who hasn't felt the impact or seen the impact firsthand of a cybersecurity incident or a cybersecurity breach? You're hearing about this stuff all the time. Here we've got the IT security manager, somebody that is now responsible for all security for an organization with a tech focus. This role is gonna be focused on computers in the end user, what we're rolling out, the software, the permissions, policies we've got in place, is the infrastructure secure, is it patched? The whole thing all around security. Security managers are in hot, hot, hot demand so they're gonna be asking for a lot more money. The 140 to the 160 range is where you're gonna be finding an IT security manager. Again, a bit lower, a bit higher, depending on the complexity of the role. For some big firm, big companies, the security managers could be earning even more. So this next one will sort of span, which is sort of why I've listed it in this number because it is gonna span in the low end, but also into the high end. And this is the development manager, software development. Maybe they'll start around the 120s. They could also get up to the 170s and into the 180s, dependent on the business, depending on the complexity, dependent on the team size and what sort of delivery of projects they may be involved with. Now this next one, number three, depending on the company, the roles are interchangeable, but commonly their responsibilities will be very, very similar and their salary will be very, very similar. This now moves us into senior management, essentially a manager of managers. So think about a company that has a service desk manager. They also have an IT infrastructure manager. They're commonly gonna report into a head of technology or to a director of technology or an IT director, head of IT, one of those. High level, big picture, has the hat across all of the areas, looking after all of it, 180, and depends on the complexity, the size of the organization, they could be easily earning in the high 200s into the 300, depending on the business. These last two can be a little bit contentious because they, all sort of work together, the salaries will sort of jump and who they report into will sort of jump as well. What are these titles? Well, number two is the CISO, the C-I-S-O, the Chief Information Security Officer. And then I've sort of said equal number one is gonna be two, CTO and CIO, a Chief Technology Officer and a Chief Information Officer. Some companies will have a CISO, a CISO, reporting in to a CIO. Some companies will have a CISO reporting into the CEO. Some companies will have a CTO reporting into a CIO. But then in other companies, you'll have the CISO, the CTO, and the CIO all reporting into the CEO. A CISO commonly starts around the 250 and would work their way up to around the 350 range. And of course, the CISO is responsible for security. Cybersecurity is massive and they're responsible for all the security. So they've potentially got a pool of security managers, security experts, people who do forensics, who do all this cool stuff specifically around security. And that's the CISO. The number one, of course, we're gonna to say together, interchangeably, CIO, CTO, the ranges are sort of the same. In many cases, I'm gonna say maybe 60% versus 40%, 60% of CIOs probably earn more. CTOs and CIOs starting as well around the 250-ish mark, but they can go all the way up to the 400s 
and above. Again, something that you've got to realize, there's all these other perks, all these other benefits that they're probably gonna be able to receive as well. Big bonuses, even though that uh, chief title may not seem like a lot of money in the grand scheme of things because some of these guys are multi-millionaires, it's because they make a lot of their money in other ways. They have stock and share options. They have a lot of these other perks, so they could be earning a lot more at the end of the year into the millions and millions, which is incredible. Let me know down below if I missed any managers that should have made it to the list. If the order is wrong, let me know. If the figures and the dollars are wrong, let me know. Like, subscribe, YouTube button, bell, do the thing. Thanks so much for tuning in, really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.